What's going on guys, Alex here. I've had my Apple Magic Keyboard for about three months now and it has been a great experience. There are definitely some pros and cons that come with it, but I just wanted to do a nice and quick review for you guys so you get a better understanding of if it is worth buying. Now, on that topic, let's talk price. I bought this for $149 from Apple, of course, had to go with this space gray just to match everything aesthetically, um, which is kind of annoying because it only comes with the numbered keypad. Um, I don't personally need it, but they don't offer the space gray that does not come with one. So keep that in mind if you do want the space gray. However, uh, the white one in this version with the keypad is 129 and then without the keypad in the white version is 99. Now let's talk about the typing experience because I'm sure that's what you guys care about and I have typed a bunch on this thing. I run a blog, I write over 3000 word blog posts consistently and it has been very enjoyable typing on this keypad. And as you guys can kind of hear, it is very tactile and has a good key travel. So it feels fantastic, which I really love. And let's talk about the looks too. This thing is super thin. I love how sleek it is and it sits really nice on the desk. So that has definitely been a plus. And the battery life is really, really impressive. It is completely wireless, obviously. And to hook it up, all you have to do is click the Bluetooth icon in the top right corner of your laptop or uh, desktop, whatever it is or you can plug the lightning cable into the keyboard um, and connect it that way. So whichever you prefer. Now, one downside is that the keys are not backlit. So if you do need a keyboard where you're gonna be working in dark settings, then you know this might not be the keyboard for you. Fortunately, I really have not had a single circumstance where I needed uh, the keyboard to be backlit. So for me, it works out perfectly fine. Uh, anytime I need something to be backlit, I just use a laptop more times than not. So. That's something to think about if that is super important to you. Now, I wanted to compare this keyboard to my MacBook 14, which is a fantastic keyboard. I think if this is the one um, right before they had switched to the butterflies, which were the super short key travel, and you can kind of hear. And then I also have my MacBook 16 that can serve as an example as well. And I think the key travel is even shorter here. So if you are a fan of Apple keyboards, I would highly recommend buying this particular model. It feels really good on the hands and I definitely think it is worth it. Um, and take it from somebody that does long form content online. So with that said, if you guys do want to buy one, again, check that link in the description. If you did find this helpful at any point, please throw a like um, just to get the video to more people and help out with the YouTube algorithm. And then obviously subscribe to the channel. We come out with weekly tech videos, all of that fun stuff. So if you guys could please do that, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much and we'll catch you on the next video.